Alrighty, today I want to talk to you about exponents, specifically using the exponents on the calculator. So there's a couple buttons here that we're going to do. Uh, the basically, if I just want to do something like a 4, and let's say I want to square it, there is a button here, and it's shown in red right there for x squared. And you see it puts the little 2 right there. So if I hit my enter button, it will square the 4 to get a 16. Uh, I'll show you that one more time. Uh, if I want to do, let's say, 8 squared, I should get a 64, and in fact, there it is. Now, I do want to caution you here about the negative sign. If I wanted to do a negative 4 squared, you would think a negative 4 times negative 4 is a 16, when in fact, the calculator is showing me a negative 16. Keep in mind that the base of that little teeny exponent. The number that it is directly touching is a 4, and 4 squared is 16, and then you have the negative dangling in the front to make it a negative 16. If I want to include the negative in the squaring, I have to use my parentheses, have to pop outside with my arrow button, and then square the number to get my positive 16. So please keep in mind with that. It's hard for me to talk about exponents without talking about the inverse of squaring something, and the inverse of squaring something is the square root. So for that, it's right above the x squared, but I have to hit my, my control button. I think on most of the calculators it's blue. Mine just happens to be a red control button. And if I put a 16 in there and hit my enter, there's my 4. So that's your basic things of how to square things and do the square root things. But the funny thing with exponents, I'm not always squaring things. Sometimes I'm going to cube something. So if I want to take a 4 and cube it, I have to use my carrot button. And that's not a carrot like Bugs Bunny type of carrots, but a C-A-R-E-T kind of carrot. And if I hit the carrot button, it's going to give me a little box to put my exponent in. And I can really put in anything. I'm just going to throw a 3 in there. And there's my 64 for a 4 times 4 times 4. Now, if I want to cube root that 64, I'm going to hit my red control button. My little thing above the carrot, which is this. And if I want to cube root something, I've got to put my cube in there. I've got to put my, the thing that I want to take the root of. And let's say, let's say I want to do that uh, 64. And there's my original 4. I'll show you that one more time. I'm going to do the control caret. And let's say I want to take the cube root, go inside with my arrow button, uh, 27. And the cube root of 27 should give me a 3. So that's just a quick video of how to do exponents, how to do roots. And I hope you enjoy it. And good luck.